Now, a bit of transport legend passed into history this morning. It was the sound of train doors slamming shut were heard for the very last time. The old slam door style trains have finally been phased out, but plenty of rail enthusiasts joined the final service at London Bridge to say goodbye. Here's Mike Pierce. In their hundreds, the spotter brigade turned out to say farewell to the slam door trains. For the enthusiasts, it was the hottest ticket in town. They've each paid £30 to spend 10 hours on 40-year-old carriages with doors that slam. But for some, the special farewell trip was simply not enough. If I could do this all day, you know, all week, I'd do it, I would, you know. Well, you'd spend a week on one? I'd spend a week, yeah, I would, yeah, if I could, yeah. You know. Some people might think you're a bit, a bit mad. Well, yeah, a lot of people say that, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's something I enjoy, you know, we, can't, we all got to be different, you know. It's the end of an era, and it's a lot of people have grown up with them. It's rather like the sort of route masters on London transport. I mean, they, we will not see anything like this again. One group of passengers even performed a musical tribute to mark the end of an era. It's a really good way to celebrate the end, and I, I think people. There's something about the sound and the atmosphere of these trains that makes them particularly good for a sense of being. You get a real strong sense of being on these trains, and I suppose the singing is reflecting that. Around 600 people are on this train, and they'll spend the entire day going between London and the south coast and back. They take it very seriously. In fact, they've even brewed a special beer. It's called the Southern Slammer on sale for a fiver. For organisers, Southern Trains, surprise at the amount of interest. A little bit surprised, um, but uh, we expected a, a large number of people. Why do you think people are so affectionate about what is effectively an old train? Well, I think a lot of people have grown up with these. You know, they've gone to school on them, they've gone to work on them over the years, and it's an opportunity to say a, a fond farewell. The old trains have to be taken out of service by the end of the month for safety reasons. The old carriages may be gone, but they'll certainly not be forgotten. At London Bridge, this is Mike Pierce for London Tonight.